So let me solve few problems on tensile test. So here it is. A tensile test was conducted on a mild steel bar. The following data was obtained from the test. Diameter of the steel bar 3 cm. Gauge length of the bar 20 cm. Load at elastic limit 250 kN. Extension at a load of 150 kN which is 0.21 mm. Maximum load 380 kN. Total extension 60 mm. Diameter of the rod at failure it is 2.25 cm. So it is required to determine Young's modulus, the stress at elastic limit, percentage elongation, percentage reduction in area. Clear? So 3 centimeter which is equivalent to 30 millimeters. So 20 centimeter it will be 200 millimeters. 250 kilonewton it is 250 into 10 raised to 3 newton. Next to 380 kilonewton it is 380 into 10 raised to 3 newton. So here it is 2.25 centimeter which is 22.5 millimeters. Clear? First, let me calculate the Young's modulus. So, you know the definition for Young's modulus. So, Young's modulus E equals, so it is the ratio of stress to strain. So, here the Young's modulus is calculated within the elastic within the elastic limit. So, to calculate the Young's modulus, first we need stress and strain. So first let me calculate the stress. So sigma equals P divided by A. So P is your load and area is cross section, cross sectional area. So as Young's modulus is calculated within the elastic limit, so you have to consider this load 150 kilonewton. So 150 into 10 raised to 3 newton divided by so your cross sectional area so pi divided by 4 into 30 square so it is in millimeter square so if you simplify this you will get sigma as 212.20 newton per millimeter square so this is your stress so to calculate the strain, so strain E equals change in length delta L divided by original length L. So here the change in length is 0 0.21 millimeter, 0 0.21 millimeter. So divided by original length it is 200 millimeter, 200 millimeters. So strain you will get. 1.05 into 10 raised to minus 3. This is your strain. 1.05 into 10 raised to minus 3. So let me substitute here. So stress sigma is 212.20 Newton per millimeter square divided by. So your strain will be 1.05 into 10 raised to minus 3. So if you simplify this, you will get Young's modulus as 202.10 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per millimeter square. So this is your Young's modulus. So this is your first answer. Young's modulus is 212.10 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per millimeter square. 
So let me calculate the stress at elastic limit. So second will be stress sigma at elastic limit. So it is defined as load at elastic limit divided by cross sectional area. So load at elastic limit it will be 250 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. So this is load at elastic limit. So divided by cross sectional area again same pi divided by 4 into 30 square. So it will be in millimeter square. So you will get stress at elastic limit as 353.67 Newton per millimeter square. So this is your stress at elastic limit. Next. So this is your second answer. Stress at elastic limit. Next it is required to calculate percentage elongation. So third one will be percentage percentage elongation. So it is defined as final extension divided by original length yeah so original length is also called as your gauge length so here the extension is 60 millimeter so 60 millimeters divided by so gauge length 20 cell 20 centimeter it is equivalent to 200 millimeters so here millimeter millimeter get cancelled so as we know percentage elongation it is represented in terms of percentage so multiply by 100 so you will get percentage of elongation as 30 percent so it is measured in percentage so this is percentage elongation 30 percent clear next so let us calculate the final percentage reduction in area So you know the definition. So original area minus final area all divided by your original area. So it should be multiplied by 100 then only it will be converted to percentage. So final area is nothing but area at to failure. So you know the original diameter 3 centimeter. So your original area will be pi into 30 square divided by 4 minus. So you know the final that is diameter of the rod at failure it is 2.25 centimeter so it will be pi into 22.5 square so convert this to millimeter okay so divided by 4 so again whole divided by 
so your original area so pi into 30 square divided by 4 so multiplied by 100 so if you simplify this you will get percentage reduction in area as 43.75 percentage so this is the final reduction in area or decrease in area 43.75 percentage clear So you can note down the answers here. These are the final answers. So later you can check by calculating.